Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at working out the area of a regular pentagon. Now, hopefully the drawing in your uh, example is going to be a little bit better than the one I've drawn up on the board, but hopefully you'll get the idea it's a regular, so it means then that each of these sides is 10 centimetres and we're being asked to work out the area. Okay, well the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at this particular pentagon and say, well actually it's made up of a series of triangles. Now in order to find out the total of the area of the pentagon, what we're going to do is look at one of those triangles, work out its area, and then multiply by 5. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is how do we work out the area of a triangle? Well, area of a triangle, there's a couple of formulas you can use, but uh, the most popular one at the moment for this is going to be a half base times height. So if we look at this individual triangle and we take this out, what we've got is something with a base of 10, which is this one here, perfectly fine, but unfortunately we don't actually have the height and we need to figure that out. Well, we're going to use the other area of this, which is going to be Sokotoa or trigonometry to be able to work out that height because we can create a right angle triangle from this just by saying well the base is now five and that's a right angle and I can get rid of that and what I do know then is that if I take this right angle triangle here just half of one of these triangles then I can use Sokoto to work out the vertical height because I can also find out the angle at the top here the angle at the top is going to be 360 degrees divided by 5 because there's 5 triangles. So in other words, each one of these angles at the top is 72 degrees. And if you pop that into a calculator, you'll be able to just divide 360 by 5 and each one is 72 degrees. So therefore, if we've got this right angle triangle that we've created here, it means this bit is going to be half of that, which is 36 degrees. Okay, so I'm now in a position where I can use Sokoto and the uh, relationship I'm going to use is tan because this is the opposite and this is the adjacent and it's actually the adjacent that I'm looking to find out. Okay, so let's look at that. So the tan of 36 degrees equals the opposite, which is 5, divided by the adjacent, which is the bit that I'm looking to find out. And I can now use a little bit of algebra to be able to move these around. So I can pop that into my calculator as adjacent equals 5 divided by tan of 36. And if you do that, you're going to get 6.882. Okay. That tells me then that the actual height of one of these triangles, so now if I redraw this triangle, the height is going to be 6.882 and the base is going to be 10. Okay, so now I'm in a position where I can go back to using this formula, which is area equals a half base times height. Well, if I use my calculator then to figure that out, I could just write it up here so the area of a triangle is going to be a half base times height. Well, that's going to be a half and the base is going to be 10 times 10 and the height is going to be 6.882. Now, if I put that in my calculator, I get a total um, area of 34.41 centimetres squared. So, in other words, each one of these triangles is 34.41. If I then multiply that by 5, I'll get a total area of the uh, pentagon, total pentagon area, Okay, is going to be 34.41 multiplied by 5, which is 172.05 centimetres squared. Okay, so it's a little bit of a, a jumble on the, on the board here, but hopefully you get the idea that what we're doing is breaking this regular pentagon down into a triangle. We're using Sokotoa, so this is your first point. This is the information we need. The second point is we're going to use Sokotoa to actually work out the information that we need. The third thing is we'll work out the original area of one particular triangle. And then the fourth thing is 
that we multiply it through and get the total area of the pentagon. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment below. In the comments, I'll always come back to you. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.